Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. Today, I'm gonna to show you a little trick when you're installing your fence risers. These are from pontoonstuff.com. They're about a quarter inch tall and they're gonna give you that lift to your railings that allows airflow, water flow, all of that good, that good stuff to keep your floor dry, whether it's carpet or vinyl, allow water to run off and keep your boat looking newer, cleaner and better. So what I do is I take a scrap piece of cardboard and a pry bar, and sometimes we can just lift up on the railings and we can slide them underneath. And I'm gonna just line that bolt up going that's going through the deck with the opening in my fence riser. I slide it in just till the lip of the fence riser is at the railing, and that one is in. It's not always that easy because when we're putting our railings together, whether it's new railings or your old used railings, a lot of times you have big sections like this starboard side here. This is bolted together all the way down 20 feet of railing. So lifting here isn't quite as easy as it was in the very front. What I do for that is my scrap cardboard and a pry bar. And I just get underneath the railing to where I can lift it with gentle pressure. And this cardboard is going to protect the vinyl floor and also my new deck trim and I can lift the railing just enough to slide my fence riser under. And then take the pressure off with the pry bar and my fence riser is now right in position. I'm gonna keep working my way down the boat with my cardboard and pry bar, raising the fence to allow that gap underneath, as you can see here, for water to flow off and again, for air to be able to flow under and help keep things dry. Maybe it's with a full mooring cover. Maybe it's in the off season with shrink wrap. This is gonna allow that boat to breathe a lot better and keep your boat looking fresher and newer for longer.